Why didn't you set that alarm? I'm supposed to be on at eight. Yeah? Well, why didn't you set it? Because why should I do it? It's something you always do. Give us a sup of your coffee, love. I do, on days when I'm working, which I admit is most of the time. It's coolless. How long have you been sat here? Never mind. I'll get something while I'm out. Hey, and I'm breaking off at one, lest there's a rush on, so we can eat together, OK? Right, I'll make you some dinner. Grand. Then we can sit and watch a bit of telly, open a few cans and make a proper Sunday of it. Yeah. See you later. I'm sure we will. You all right, love? Is the right up? Spider was saying how he'd like us to try again. Me and him. All right. Why does that not surprise me? Mount of times he's been calling round here. And what did you say? Nothing, really. I don't know what to say. Still like him. Well, more than like him. It's amazing how some things don't go away, do they? Well, they do sometimes. I mean, we were good together. I was really happy with him. Yeah, I know you were. And part of me thinks we still could be again. I mean, yeah, okay, so, you know, we're both older, we've changed, but so what? I still feel close to him. Like, I know him better than anyone else. And what about Sam? Yeah, I know. I suppose what I really want is for someone to decide for me. They're not gonna, are they? So? So? When I stood up in the Rovers and told everyone we were just good friends, you were lying. Well, I would be now. Yeah? I wasn't then. So what are you going to do? Stand up again and say, we're not just good friends. Not anymore. Well, I wouldn't know what to tell them. I mean, what happened is... Is that going to carry on? Only if you want it to. Yeah, of course I do. I thought you'd gone off me for a minute then. <laughs> so does this mean we're uh, living together? Or am I still your lodger? Mm, funny situation. Not funnier than a lot of others. Why don't we just stop worrying and wait and see what happens? And I know that you'll find that very difficult because you like worrying. It's your hobby. But just for once, just let it happen. Thanks, mate. Morning. Morning. Oh, Richard. You're not going to call on me just yet, are you? No, no, I thought we said 12. Oh, that's all right, then. Only I'm just off to church and I saw you and I thought... Oh, dear, I've got it all wrong. Well, if you have, then I have as well. Well, I'll see you later, then. All right, then. Right. See you then. Bye. Pray for guidance. Sorry? While you're in church, pray for guidance. I always do. Oh, Emily, I'm sorry, but what you told me last night about selling the house... I am not selling the house. I've hardly slept a wink for thinking about it. Are you sure you know what you're doing? The only thing that I'm not sure about it is whether I should have told you. Well, I do live there too, you know. And will continue to, just as I will. Oh, yes, well, let's hope so. Well, it's what I intend. Where you choose to live is entirely up to you. Suppose you know she's signing over her house to some company he's suggested. Well, I don't think it's quite that, is it? Well, it's the next best thing. I mean, who is he? What is he? He, he arrives from nowhere, telling everybody he's a financial advisor. Oh, yes, yes, well, we can all be one of those, can't we? I mean, you say to me, shall I have my head? And I say, why bother? It never looks any different. Save your money. Does that make me a financial advisor or no? No, just rude. Well, I think she's been very foolish dabbling in such things at her time of life. What about your, uh, university? I could try and get in somewhere else. You'd be living in London, would you? <laughs> somewhere down there, yeah. Don't know exactly. Well, I mean, what does it matter? If you want to be with Spider, you want to be with Spider. But I don't know whether I do. Well, nobody else does, love. All I can say to you is 
follow your heart. I mean, all right, we've been sat here talking and I've been saying, well, what about this and what about that? But you've just to sit down and listen to what your heart's telling you. And another thing that I'll say is be selfish. You know, even if, even if it's going to hurt somebody, like Spider or, or Sam. Because these things can't be avoided. Oh, I wish they could, but they can't. Are you all right, Mum? Yeah, never mind me. You just listen to what I've been telling you. You think about your own feelings and you leave everybody else to worry about theirs. Hiya, Spider Love, come in. How are you? I'm all right, me, I'm brilliant. Bit of a late start this morning, so, yeah, excuse me, I'll get some clothes on. Of course, yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, have you had a chance to think any more about us? About coming with me to London? I've hardly thought of how else. Yeah, neither have I. That's what I want most in the world, to hear. Happiest time of my life was when I was with you. Mine as well. So you'll come, yeah? Why, well, I have to tell you now, do I? No. <laughs> no, the last thing I want to do is put pressure on you. Look, I've got to see Auntie Em when she comes back from church, sort the money out. Then I'm catching a train back this afternoon at three o'clock. Now, if you want to come with me then, wonderful. But if that's too soon, you know, you need a couple of days to sort things out. That's all right as well. Just as long as you let me know. Any phone calls? Who yeah, from Telly? Yeah. No. Look, you would tell me if there were. There won't be, Vera. Look, he only wants to know us when, when he needs something. Like he needed money for his defence. Well, he hasn't got a defence now, has he? Because he's halfway down the road to Timbuktu. Or else Clever Clogs is not phoning because he thinks the line's tapped and it'll give him away where he is. Anywhere he was, I'd give him away. Would you, Eckers? Vera, we can't go on like this for the rest of us flaming life, can we? Him, we don't know where. You, on tenderhooks, every time you hear the door or the phone rings or the post. He might have got himself out of prison, but he's made damn sure that me and you are inside one. Oh, so you want him to be found then, do you? You want to see him locked up for life? Why should he be, Vera, if he's innocent like you keep telling me? Because he was set up with that copper whose wife he's been seeing. Then he should have told them then at court, shouldn't he? But it's no good him doing that now because they won't believe a damn word he's saying. Not after this caper. Well, I believe him. And so would you if you talked to him like I have. Oh, I haven't. So he ain't wrong then? I mean, tell me truth. No, he hasn't, Veda. He hasn't, and he won't. It's not getting any easier. I know. I'm sorry. Go away up. What does he want? Don't you say out. I'm not going to. You should tell him, there's not much room in there. <laughs> Working on a Sunday? Yeah, just doing my bit. Well, do you reckon you could do us a favour, mate? What? Well, you know, some joker went joyriding in my car. Yeah, yeah, he said. Oh, yeah, terrible. Yeah, well, it might just be me, but uh, the engine sounds different. So, do you reckon you could check it over for us? Well, I could do it now if you want. Yeah? Well, that'd be great. Leave it with you. Yeah, give us half hour. Nice one, Tyrone. Appreciate it. Well, you're a mate in that, aren't you? Hey, we can be off again. You shut up, you. I've listened to you once before and look where that got me. Mm, yeah, but you enjoyed it though, didn't you? Mm. Hey, hang on a minute. Have you been round to see Toya? Oh, I have, yes. Well, why is it you keep going on around and seeing her? I mean, all right, once, like we talked about, what are you seeing her now for? I think that's between me and Toya, don't you? Well, no, I don't, because I'm going out with her now. I I'm a boyfriend. So... So I'm just about sick of this. From now on, you stay away from all right. Well, I think that's for Toya to decide, don't you? Yeah, but you don't give her a choice by just turning up like this. Just stay away. Well, I am, as it happens, because I'm going back to London this afternoon. Well, well, good. Well, you might not think so when you talk to Toya, because I think you'll find she's planning on coming with me. No! Toya! Toya! 
What are you doing? He says you're going off to London with him. Who does? Who does? Who do you think he's just been here, that spider? Yeah, well, I don't know what I'm doing yet. But what about us, Toya? I don't know, just leave it, eh? But what do you mean, leave it? What do you expect me to do? For now, well, I think. What, so the next time I come around, I find that you've gone off with him? No, you won't. I'll talk to you before I do out. Yeah, but you've already talked to him about it, haven't you? Well, because he turned up, so I had no choice. Trust me, Sam, hey? Just give us a bit of time. OK, you want to get yourself in the back, make sure it doesn't slip out that way. And if he's here, then grab him. We don't want any more great escapes. Hey, well, you want your dinner at dinner time or tea time? Dinner time would be nice. And what about our Tyrone? Do you think he'll be with us? Well, I don't know. We want him to flip and ask him. Well, I can always make him some. It'll keep. Was oh. again, Mr. Duckworth? Yes. We've got a warrant, so if you don't mind. Very nice. What's going on? What's all this about? They're here again. Check upstairs. Look, you've already checked once. Is this going to be a regular thing? We've had information that he's been seen in the area. What, our Terry has? Well, somebody answering his description, yes. Well, he's not here. No! We just have to make sure. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. We're nearly done. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you are. Uh, I, I take it there's a statutory period during which time Mrs Bishop can change her mind. Oh, well, thank you. That's something, if you're admitting I do have a mind. Everything else I've been hearing lately would seem to suggest you don't. Oh, dear. I think I'd better leave you to it, hadn't I? I think it would be best, yes. I'll say goodbye, Norris. I'm off later. Yes. Taking your spoils with you. You've had a very successful trip, haven't you? Well, that's it, then. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I'll see myself out. And, uh, good luck with the business. Thanks. OK. Bye. Bye. And so... that is for you. Oh, Auntie yeah. I do hope the business is a great success and everything else you do in life. Well, if it is, it'll be thanks to you. I'll never forget this, Auntie Em, never. And I'll pay you back as soon as I can. Oh, I don't want it back. It's only what you'd be getting after I've gone. Just, you're getting it a bit early, that's all. A lot early, I hope. Anyway, Norris is right. I have had a successful trip. Oh, don't take any notice of Norris. No, but I have. More ways than one. No, mate, honestly, not wrong with it. It's going like a bomb. Must just be my imagination then, eh? You know, it's like just thinking about someone driving your motor. Oh, yeah. They were probably right, tear away. So what do we owe you then, T? Nothing. No, no. Uh, can't charge you for doing no work. You sure about that, mate? Well, that nice one. I won't forget that. Yes, love. Uh, orange juice for me, please, Betty, and whatever these two are drinking. Oh, OK. Well. <laughs> Right, I've locked up. Oh, everything all right? Yeah. Enjoy your juice, love? Well, no. Yeah. Toya's just dumped me. Oh, no, she hasn't, has she? Off to London with that spider she used to live with. Wouldn't even talk to me. I didn't even get a chance. Oh. So that means he's going to be right misery guts to work alongside. He is. And do you know who he reminds me of? Uh, no idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, well, you wouldn't want to know him anyway. He was the most miserablest man you'd ever met. Oh, what happened to him then? No, oh, he changed. Mm -hmm. Goes around with a big smile on his face now. And the funny thing is, nobody knows why. Yeah, no one's bothered. After all that nosying about. Well, it's because he gave him such a good telling off. <laughs> now they don't even look at us. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just not fair, Dennis. I mean, I did everything I could. He turns up, clicked his fingers, and she's off. Well, it might feel like that, but it's probably harder for her than you think. Harder for her? What about me? I'm afraid you're going to have to live with it, son. Yeah, well, who cares anyway, eh? Do you want another pack? Yeah, why not? 
two pints, please. Okay, Doc. Dennis. Mm. Hello. Do you fancy going for a walk? What now? Yeah, before Les gets in. Right, uh, cancel that, mate. Yeah, got some business. Yeah, all right, okay. See you later. See ya. Hey, do I look any different? Because I am. I'm better off than I was this morning to the tune of £15,000. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, thanks to Auntie Em. She's been great. Oh, and I'm going to pay her back even though she keeps going on, but I don't have to. And I told her about us, and she wishes us all the best. In fact, she said she didn't understand why we broke up in the first place. Do you know what? I agree with her. Spad, you're going to wait me. What? I'm not coming with you. Oh, yeah, not straight away, but... Not ever. I'm sorry, but I just don't think it'd work. Well, of course it would. Oh, come on, we're great together. Some of the time, yeah. But that's past. It's gone. We can start again. No, we can't. Why? Because... Because I don't want to. Because you want to stay the same? No! I mean, I am going to, yeah, but that's not why. Well, what is? Because I'm not who you think I am. I'm not the same person I was when we were together. Well, we're both older. Not just that. Oh, look, I was going to try and make excuses, but the truth is, I don't want to come. I want to stay here. And you, you can keep asking me why and trying to persuade me, but it won't do any good because, well, all that matters is, is what I feel. And what I feel is that I don't want us to be together again. Too much has happened. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I've tried. I've really tried. I kept telling myself I'm married to him, I love him. I kept reminding myself of everything that's gone on between us. It hasn't worked. I don't know what to say. Do you love me? I must do. I've tried to tell myself I don't love you, but I haven't done much good. Like it don't make much difference, me saying I'm still in love with Les. If it's gone, it's gone, isn't it? It's not something you can talk yourself back into. Or out of. All right. Have you seen our Janice, Betty? Oh, she was in, but not for long. Do you believe I've been working all morning? Mm -hmm. I go back home expecting me dinner on the table and there's not a thing, not even a spud peeled. Do you know what you should do? What? Peel him yourself. You're a comedian. I know. Get us an audience use. Right. Suppose you were to tell Arlene. Yeah. And she started begging and pleading for you not to go. Even went down on her knees. I'd hate myself, but it wouldn't make a difference. Not if you were waiting for me. I wish it had already happened. That all this screaming and bawling were behind us. And they were just you and me together. So when are we gonna do it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've still got that holiday to get through, though, first. All the four of us together. So after, when we get back? I'll tell Les and you'll tell Eileen. We'll tell them. We'll meet here. Go on. I'm shaking just thinking about it. Come on. What time do you train then? Oh, uh, plenty of time. Hi there. Hi, love. You can still change your mind, you know. No, I can't. But I do still care for you, you know. I mean, I won't just pretending. Yeah, I know. Except to myself. Pretending I could go back. Come here. Be happy. Thank you. How will I? 
Right. That's an orange juice, a pint and a lager. Please, better. OK. So, where have you been, anyway? Nowhere special. Just popped out for some fresh air. That's what we're having for our dinner, is that? Fresh air. I'll make you some when we get back home. I hope so. Yeah, do you know, I'll, I won't sleep tonight. Oh, that's that very worrying. worrying for you. It really is. Oh, are you? Right, I can talk to you now. What, now that it's too late, you mean? I'm not going to London. I'm not going away with Spider. I'm staying here. Honest? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, that's great news. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say out. Let's just forget about it, eh? No, no, what you're saying is that you chose me over him, didn't you? No. Well, you must have. I decided not to go with him, which means we're still together. Yeah, that, that's what I said. Almost the same, yeah. Do you want a drink? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Vera, but I think most people would see running away as an admission of guilt. Well, maybe that's because most people don't know Terry as well as Vera does. Yes, but he's going to be tried by a jury of his peers, isn't he? Not a jury made up of his nearest and dearest. Well, I doubt he'd get off even then. Cos I think Jack would agree with you. Cos he thinks he's guilty. And what he's done now has made it worse. <sighs> they swing for home now and a first to Drop away. Hang on a minute! <laughs> Hang on! There's nobody here, is there? What are you doing? I said there's nobody here! Well, there isn't, but you can't stay. Do you know what you're doing to your mother with this caper? Do you realise what kind of state she's in? Yeah. Well, I'm in a bit of a state myself. Yes, maybe. And I do hope you sort yourself out, but you are not stopping here. Well, then you better phone the cops, then, haven't you? Tell them to come and collect me. Because that's the only way you're getting me out of here.